welcome back guys to another video on LSPDFR GTA 5 for the PC and today we're playing as the Metropolitan Police Emergency Response Team and Firebizard has updated his pad so the um, Sapporo radio should be slightly bigger than last time which is a nice thing to see and I'll have Officer Needledick with me as well. We're going to be using the uh, one of these response cars today so we've got quite a few in game. We do have the uh, BMW i3 as well but um, it isn't on my favourites because for some reason the Police 3 slot doesn't like to be saved in the menu. But there's the Astra with the uh, Justice light bar. There's also the 2 Series and the Peugeot 308. But I'm going to use the 2 Series because I haven't driven this car for a long time. So let's get inside this car now. Yeah, pretty standard Metropolitan Police vehicle. They've got some 20 plate versions of these rolling about with a new Justice light bar like the Astra has. So, fairly new car. But it's also been in the force for a bit. Now we'll go uh, set ourselves available for calls. Our first call is a report of a car fire, so I suppose we have to get there quick as possible, turn the lights and sirens off, block the road, call the London Fire Brigade. I don't know if it'd be that simple, but uh, we'll see. But yeah, hope you guys are enjoying the videos so far and the uh, frequent content. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already done so for some very unique LSPDFR and Grand Theft Auto 5 videos for the PC. Just to let you guys know, I now have an Amazon affiliate store, so be sure to check the link in the description. You will be taken to the shop where I fully endorse the products that I have on there, and you guys will be able to see some of the best PCs you can run GTA 5 or other games on, as well as being able to see my exclusive MacBook gaming setup, the exact setup that I use in the moment to record my videos, the shadow. You can see all the accessories that I use, the computer, the devices and all the little extras and also there's an amazing section for YouTube with the special products so be sure to check out the store today I hope to see you there please don't be the lorry oh what's happening here oh okay Stand by. Uh, yeah, we need to close the roads off. Um, urgent emergency. Uh, call London Fire Brigade as well. I'm going to try and ward people away. Oi! Leave this area. Yeah, that's good. You're turning around, that's good. People are naturally turning around. The London Fire Brigade is here. Oh, explosion! I'm going to go point my car this way so they see my red lights. Okay, London Fire Brigade here, guys. I'm going to put some cones as well. Let's go to the back of the car. So yeah, the IRVs that the Met Police are using now, like the main patrol cars, they are, um, they've got, uh, they're usually estates like this uh, BMW. So a lot of them now carry road cones or fast... What the hell is that? A levitating code. Okay, I thought I thought there was going to be something like that happening in this video. Let's see how these uh, water fairies are doing. Oh, wh 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 whoa, idiot! Don't you dare drive into that fire engine. Let's assess the area for risk. Okay, no human casualties, but unfortunately, someone's jeep is now absolutely wrecked. That Zafira had changed his mind. <laughs> Decided to go back the other way. Oh no, this other Zafira's coming. Hey, idiot, what are you doing? Okay, right, let's go look, look around the rest of the area. Yeah, we have a situation here. I'm going to have to call a traffic cone. What am I saying? Traffic cone? I mean a tow truck. I'm just not with it today, I swear. We'll need a flatbed to uh, take this uh, vehicle away. And I'll try and get rid of the cones as well, because this road can now be opened. There's no more uh, threat to uh, human safety. Bye-bye, truck. There's their vehicle. Let's remove all the cones. Wait. Don't you dare. Don't you dare run into me or my partner, okay? Okay. 
Okay, stand by, mech control. We're all ready and back on patrol again. Alright, that was a fairly smooth call. Went a lot smoother than I thought. But yeah, the area today we're going to be patrolling is obviously the um, west side. So it's going to be this area here and this little village around here. So I've never really patrolled in this map much recently. It's usually been the other side, so we will be patrolling this area today. And it's a lovely area, I've got to say. Not as turbulent as Grove Street, and it's feeling give me some very Essexy vibes with the palm trees all over the place. We have an in morning so we now have a suspicious vehicle that we need to investigate. I'm going to take a um, U-turn over here and drive to the location of the car that we're supposed to look at. We might as well just be traffic police today, because literally everything we're doing, it seems to be car related so far. Oh, I hate it when it does that. Whenever I'm using the brake and indicating left, it just makes my camera zoom in as if I'm going to start shooting. I do not know why it does that. It must be some... I mean, there was a point in LSPDFR where it didn't do that at all. And um, now it does. Hello, mate. You good? I should stop being a prick and just reverse around this Audi. Ooh, 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 I reversed the wrong way. Never mind, who cares? The lights are green. Take a left turn over here. And we're going to go investigate the vehicle because there's some suspicious activity going on there. So we'll see what's happening up with this car. Yeah, make a trial. We're on scene. We're going to be looking for the vehicle in question at Perth Street Rockford Drive. Let's take a U turn around here again. It's going to be, oh gosh, it's an absolutely destroyed white Mercedes A-Class. Yeah, stand by. You may have an incident here. Yep, what is going on here? I think it's some gang activity. This might be a drug dealer's car and they've decided, the rival gang has decided to smash it up. Well, I guess we could search the vehicle, as we have grounds to. That is definitely not roadworthy. A briefcase full of heroin, pepper spray, and a brown bag stuffed with money. Definitely some dodgy business going on here. Hello, hello, hello. Well, well, well. This doesn't seem to be in recent. I'm going to call traffic police just to um, have a look at this car because I know that there are... Uh, make sure there's enough space and park your car parallel to the street. Well, they should turn up right behind me. Traffic police should park up behind my car and they're going to have a more in-depth look at the vehicle. That's nice. This is what I love about our ultimate backup. It's an amazing mod. Alright, officer, over here, mate. There's this car. It looks very dodgy. I want you to get a clock on when this damage was done. Because... I don't know, I'm, I'm a response officer, aren't I? So yeah, these traffic cops over here, they're looking at the vehicle right now, and they're going to be taking evidence. I want to write a little report over here. Got the lovely traffic uh, police. Well, that's actually an area car, but you know, looks very similar these days. They give me details right now. Apparently the car was um, smashed up last night, and it's only been reported recently. The owner has pretty much fled the scene. We could do a registration check, I guess, if I can actually read the registration. Um, let's go to the front. Is there a reg plate there? No. Can you read that, Constable? LV18MSI. Yeah, okay. I'm going to do a run for that, see if it comes up as a Mercedes in the database. Target vehicle license plate. It's a stolen vehicle, okay. It looks like a drug dealer has stolen this vehicle. Using Approach it in a crime. Left it here overnight. And got smashed up, so I think um, it may well, very well be part of a crime scene. We're going to go seize this as police property for an investigation. Let's get a good old flatbed to uh, pick up the vehicle. Yep. Very dodgy to me. Bye bye, Mercedes. Yeah, stand down, my control. We're going to be um, finishing this scene now. Traffic officers are going back on patrol. I'm going to go back on patrol too.
Get a car needle dick, let's go. Let's just hope they don't have the sirens on and crash into the rear of my vehicle. Guys, turn your sirens off, good job. You can pass, guys. You can pass. Come on. That's a good boy. Two BMWs that are relatively new, like around the same generation as well. They look so similar yet so different, and they're both the states as well. Whoa! We that was close. Oh, what the bloody bollocks is going on here? We've got a hit and run around this corner now. Apparently we've got a hit and run, literally just happened as we left the crime scene. Okay, yeah, make control, stand by, and we're going back to the same scene again. Apparently there's a hit and run by this address. I'm gonna go see what's happening. Alright buddy, what's happening here? You just flagged us down as soon as we're leaving the crime scene, what's happening? What's going on here, are you okay? Is he going to say anything? Someone hit his car and it went off. And now it says Losa's jail. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Losa's jail. Fuck you too. No description of vehicle. I'm sorry, mate. We can't help you. If you're just going to say Losa's jail to us, then we can't help you. <laughs> sorry, mate. Yeah, stand up. Whoa. Boy! There's no need to be a prick, you know. What you driving? You do that again and I'm going to book you. Who cares about your shitty job interview? Oh, okay. I'm getting the hell out of this area. That Losis Jail freaking bug is driving me nuts. And I don't know what's causing it. Back to patrol the borough again. So let's go take a right turn over here and go into our side of the, side of the town. Take a left turn over here. Oh, we got a fairly decent fuel tank, so we don't have to worry about refueling anytime soon. Oh, yeah, I thought my bumper was coming off. Just realised it's just a slight scrape from that idiot in the Ford Focus. Uh, is, am I seeing things? Has this car not got a fuel tank? I just realised. Ah, oh, so much for realism. We have an I'm not doing another suspicious vehicle. We'll do a welfare check. Nope. Grape seed. That is. All the way over here. I'm not doing that call. No way. Attention. This is dispatch. We are code four. No Stolen truck. Required. Nope. That's traffic. MVA. Nope. Officers report. All Money truck. Involved. Nope. Code Vehicle fire. Nope. Did that already. Mm. Possible disturbance. All right. Let's go here. See, we're a community response team today, so we're going to be a little more local units. We do deal with acts of vandalism because we are a police, like your typical bog standard police officers. There's apparently alleged vandalism now, so it's probably very similar to the dis suspicious vehicle call out. What is this plonker doing? Hello? Oi, what are you doing, you drunk idiot? Yeah, that's right, turn around. Alright, we'll head to this uh, disturbance and get into my, the right lane. The correct lane. Oh, who's closing in on me? Oh, it's a bus. Bus wankers! Okay, we're now in the vicinity. We'll look for the vi for the vehicle that's damaged. I believe it might be that Fox Lastra over there, but it might be another car as well. Let's go have a look. Act of vandalism in someone's vehicle. There's a white blip on the map. It might be that car over there, actually, in that car park. Sorry, Comet! Yeah, I believe it's this car park here. Someone go bend the law a bit and just drive over to this section. 
over here. Here we are. So, I'm going to park my car here. And we're going to look at the vehicle that's on the right of us. Because I believe that's uh, the possible vandalism. We had a caller for passerby that's... Um, oh, this vehicle has potentially dangerous in items inside of it. Smashed windows slash tires. That's interesting. Is it is it the comments that he's talking about? Is it this one? No, I don't think so. I didn't see any signs of damage in the Astra, so maybe I'll just... I'll have a look at all these cars, actually, because it might not be the Astra. It might be another... Nah, I think it is the Astra, to be honest. Because the blip was on it before I came. Let's go search this vehicle, see if we can pry the door open and do a good old search. Vehicle check as well. Hand sanitizer, okay, nothing there. Target vehicle license plate. Expired reg. One, we'll let the traffic Robert cops deal with that. Try this focus. I, I feel like such a criminal start searching caution. all these vehicles, but uh, a large bomb, okay, well, we can't really arrest someone for that. Um, what car are they talking about then? I'm going to have a look at this vehicle as well. It's going to be look a bit suspicious, police searching vehicles randomly like this. I'm pretty certain they can't do this in real life, but for the sake of this call-out, I'm just going to play it by ear and do what this call-out wants me to do. Because it said the vehicle has potentially dangerous items inside of it. So, I'm going to do that. And if there's nothing that comes in this one, I'm going to end the call. Okay, never mind that. Yeah, this is a fluke. Stand down, make control. Um... No signs of damage nearby. Get another call. Welfare Any check, okay. Someone apparently um, had a bit of a mental breakdown and they haven't been replying to their friends or anything, so we don't know what happens. It could be someone, something very morbid, or they could be absolutely fine, they might be ill. We don't know, but uh, we go to go, as police officers, we'll go check them right now, so. Go check up on them. Yeah, Megatrol, stand by. We're about just under half a mile away. We'll be there real soon. I've not done this call out before, so I'm not sure what it will come up, but I suppose that's what makes it interesting because just like real life, you know, if you're a police officer, you never know what's going to come up on the call. We'll take a turn into this neighborhood on the right. Apparently, we've got the address, which um, raised suspicion. I believe this this address here, so we'll probably just park aside. We'll just park aside here. On the main road, so if anything does happen, we've got plenty of room. Yeah, make control standby. We're in the address uh, right now. We're going to go speak to whoever's there and uh, see what's happening. Alright, Needle Dick, get ready. We don't know what's going to come up in this situation. Police are here. Hello, police. You called us. Is everything okay at this address? We had uh, re reports of someone. What? Just being funny to me, okay? They don't want to speak to me. This man's getting quite angry. Whoa, 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 whoa! Stop! Stop riding, sir! Okay, we've got a male running, foot pursuit, male running, he started getting quite aggressive to us. He uh, kicked something in my partner's face and then started running off. 
Stop running. I want to know what that's all about, okay? The alarms and call for stress, distress that address, and you just started running like that. Um, I don't think the call out's over, by the way. I think it's just this guy, apparently, that my partner didn't take a liking to, so... Uh, I think the um, the, the uh, welfare check call out is probably still going on. I'm going to go uh, talk to him and I'm going to let him go if he hasn't got anything illegal on him but we're going to have, we have grounds to search him now so I'm going to take him to my car. Yeah, you're a nice little jog now, don't you mate? Yeah? Good exercise, yeah? Right, what was all that about? I'm gonna I'm gonna search you because you have reason to uh, believe you're up to suspicious activity in this uh, quarantine situation. Look at him; he looks like a right tosser, doesn't he? A handgun, right? Okay, mate. Well, uh, yeah, you've got a gun on you, and you have no gun permit. Well, you should have a gun permit anyway. Yeah, I'm gonna get a space for mail over here. Uh, Hank McGraw, apparently. Yeah, you come with us. You got a gun on you. That's not tolerated. Why the hell did the police fans spawn in that garden? Well, whose idiot idea was that? Like, seriously, you're gonna spawn a police fan there? Are you kidding me? Alright, let's move over here. Ask us play Lego. Alright, guys, over here. Oh, Hello. you didn't even bother to drive over here. Yeah, the suspect's been searched. Uh, he had a handgun on him, so uh, you could take him to the station. Okay, Needle Dick, let's go back to the address to see what's happening. I love how they always yell an insult at the prisoner before taking them away. This guy hasn't even bothered to close his door either. Oh, that leads me to believe I might want to search his vehicle as well. Because I believe this is the car the guy was coming from. Might be wrong. No, I'm nothing, okay. I feel like an idiot now. Okay, let's go where I check this address. Oh, I can walk through cars, wow. That's a superpower I've never seen before. You had it, buddy? Good. We're going to be searching this address because there'll be calls of uh, sus you know suspicious activity when they check up with someone. So I hope you don't mind. We're going to go back garden here. Losus Jail. Oh my gosh, it's my best friend, isn't it? Really kills the immersion in these uh, callouts. The other man. Is everything good? Hello. Is this the person in question? She's not saying anything. Okay, yeah, she's alright. Yeah, false alarm. Okay, no problem. We'll take a statement from you anyway. Please stop. Can I talk to you? Can I talk to you, please? Yeah. So let's just take your details and we'll be on our way. False alarm. Okay, so she has Kira Bell. Got a name in the database anyway. She's known to have, like, uh, violent mental outbreaks, but apparently... This time round, she was just grabbing some fresh air, but her uh, neighbours and her housemates are a bit worried about her, so uh, obviously they called the police to check up. So uh, she should be okay. She got like um, she got CMHT checking up on her later this week anyway, so should be fine. But yeah, you know that's that's the thing. It's interesting, you know, being a police officer. You've got so many different things. You've got people that are violent. You've also got to be a punching bag for people that have mental health issues and stuff. You know, so many different jobs that the police have to do is, is absolutely insane, like, stuff you need to be trained on. Sometimes they're not properly trained on it either. And then they wanted to fund the police, <laughs> and they've already got so much stuff to do. Like, that's crazy, I mean, I, under I understand the idea behind defund the police, but I also understand that it's a stupid idea too, in my opinion. Because if you should be giving the police more money if you want them to be better trained and make less mistakes, getting rid of that money isn't going to make their training any better. And getting rid of the police isn't going to make our society any better. Like, if you think about it. But yeah, those are just some of my thoughts at the moment. And thoughts change, obviously opinions change as well. Reporting an I'm not going to do that wild animal one. Uh, gang attack. Nope, that's going to require a gun. Code four. No further units required. High value stolen vehicle, no, we'll let the boys in the traffic, the black rats to uh, sort out. Um, anything else? Nope. Nope. Did that. Nope. Yes. Got two people fighting and they respond to their I-grade. Make this an emergency call.
Stand by my control where the address uh, where I believe there's been fighting. Uh, what's happening here? Oh, two people fire, two males fighting, and money's in backup here as well. Alright, police, stop! What's going on here, eh? Stop or we'll use taser. Needle Dick, you go arrest this guy, I'm gonna arrest this one here. That's what I like to see. Yeah, also a backup man is a lifesaver. It literally stopped me from leaving LSPDFR altogether because it was so sometimes it got so annoying. But yeah, this mod came out and changed everything. Like my partners actually arrest other people. Which is amazing. But yeah, these guys have been arrested for assault. Unfortunately my backup doesn't seem to have come. Uh let's see if I can search him. Okay, he's got some inconspicuous drugs, but uh, Needle Dick will go um, pat this guy down. Yeah, we got two males over here, both detained for assault and breach of the peace. I'm gonna call um, two vehicles. Why the hell do I have a gun here? Oh, a grenade and a vibrator. This guy here is a pervert. Quite violent as well. A grenade and a vibrator. Well, well, well. Over here, guys. Turn your flipping siren off, please. Thank you. Did my ears a massive favor. Got another car here as well. Yeah, stand down, make patrol. All right, one more call out, guys. So one more call out. It's getting to that time of the patrol now, so I hope we can savor this last call out. Yeah, make patrol, stand by. We got both males um, detained. And we're gonna go back on patrol. Well, that's very kind of them. They've opened their gate for me to be able to turn around. Is he kicking off over there? Nope. Okay. Fellas, I do apologise for the Discord notifications that came in this video, that was actually quite annoying, but it looks like we've got someone that skipped a red light. I've just turned off Discord, by the way. Don't know why I left it on. Yeah, make a trial. We've got a vehicle, uh, dangerous driver and Dorset drive. We're going to be initial phase pursuits. Um, it's going 7-0 in a 3-0 zone. Yeah, vehicles behind a lorry. It's a... Oh, it's not a bloody armoured car again, is it? Oh my gosh, those cars are going to be impossible to stop. Yeah, we've got an armoured car. I'm going to stand down that pursuit. Stand down, stand down. Not, there's no chance I'm following that car in this vehicle. Handy little tip that you guys told me for suspect lost. Thank you very much. Robbery. Right, where is that? Right, where it, what? I'm pressing escape button. There's not coming up. Okay, where is the robbery? Oh no, fudge off. I'm not doing that. Let's go stop here for a sec. Troublemaker at train station, right. All the way in Grove Street area, let's go ahead there. BTP is uh, currently really 
busy at the moment, so apparently there's someone that's uh, fighting the security staff there, so we need to head there urgently. Inconsiderate pedestrians. The car just toppled over because its handling line was so bad. <laughs> Those the fearers, they literally make me laugh. Toppling over like that, I, I just beeped him, I just popped him in my horn and he got <laughs> panicked and turned quite sharply and then just flipped over completely. Oh my gosh, what a laugh. Yeah, we're in the area, it's gonna go on the motorway, I believe it's about nice down here, isn't it? Yeah, stations down here. Okay, security called us over here. BTP is currently too busy. Yeah, stand by my control in the area. Right. Let's go. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oi! Dispatch, we got a visual on the perp in pursuit. Taser, taser! You're running towards me like that. Oi! Stop what you're doing! Need some backup over here. This male is still fighting despite being tased multiple times. I will tase you again and again and again and if I have to. The office needs back up. Keeping him tased down there. We've got the MSC on here. The uh, support units are have arrived. Keep this male tased. I will tase you again. Hey! We'll have to knock him out, guys. That's all we can do. Okay, stand by, make control. Um, we're gonna need an ambulance over here. I've just managed to knock him out. Yeah, now you guys get out of your freaking van. Bunch of pricks. While he's knocked out, I'm going to search him. Okay, nothing suspicious there. Ambulance is over here. Alex Rocks is currently knocked out. Over here, guys. Here's the male. We just knocked him out. Um, he fell on the floor, splat on the floor. Slightly concerned. I knocked him out a bit too hard. But yeah, hopefully you guys can deal with it. I do not want to call a coroner. Just saying. Yes, yeah, standby. Okay, that's good. He's alive. Yeah, I didn't kill him. I just knocked him out. So that's good. Now we can hopefully arrest him. Alright buddy, um, are you going to take him to the hospital? I believe they're going to take him on the stretcher instead, so... There's no need to arrest him. Okay, yeah, he's taken to the stretcher. He'll be taken to the hospital and be arrested there. But, yeah. 
that's the situation dealt with. I believe we're going to go up here and just take a peek in this area to see if there's anything else happening. Mind the gap. That's a nice sound effect. I should do. I should actually do a BTP patrol because I know you guys. A lot of you really wanted me to do one, and I never ended up doing them because there wasn't many BTP callouts. But uh, I suppose now we've got this situation, they're going to be more than relevant because you know London Underground Station have loads of cops. But yeah, you've got some trams over here, that's what I'm talking about. Croydon trams. But yeah, I mean, that's the situation dealt with. We finished this video, guys. Don't forget to check out my affiliate links. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel, if you haven't already done so. Keep on liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting, you name it. I do read every single comment. I probably don't reply to every single one, but I try to read them at least. Yeah, thanks for watching, guys. And I will see you guys soon in another episode. So till then, stay tuned.